What makes Greek DNA truly distinctive from its neighbors becomes clear when we examine the genetic markers that set them apart. Modern Greeks show a unique distribution of Y-chromosome haplogroups, with J2A present in 25% of the population, and E1B1B in 21%. This creates a markedly different pattern from their Balkan neighbors. While Albanians show E1B1B at 28%, and R1B at 18%, and Macedonians display I2A at 35%, Greeks maintain their distinctive genetic signature. But what makes this distribution so uniquely Greek? The maternal genetic lines tell an equally fascinating story through mitochondrial DNA. Greek populations carry distinctive frequencies of haplogroup H at 41.3% and U at 19.4%, setting them apart from Turkish populations where H appears at only 31.2%. What makes the Greek genetic narrative truly extraordinary is its remarkable continuity through millennia. Deep within Greece's ancient DNA lies a profound discovery. Modern Greeks share substantial genetic similarities with their Bronze Age ancestors from 4,000 years ago. But what makes this connection so uniquely preserved across time? Consider this striking revelation from the groundbreaking 2017 Nature Study by Lazaritis and colleagues. Mycenaean and Minoan DNA samples show a direct genetic link to contemporary Greeks. What's particularly fascinating is that despite numerous invasions, migrations, and cultural exchanges, the core genetic signature has remained remarkably stable. But how did this genetic continuity survive such historical turbulence? Perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Greek genetic heritage lies in its regional variations. What makes this particularly noteworthy is how modern Greeks from different regions still carry distinct genetic markers that align with ancient geographical distributions. Consider this fascinating detail. Inhabitants of modern Crete share specific genetic variants with Minoan samples from the same island, dating back over 3,500 years. But what preserved these regional genetic patterns across millennia? The genetic evidence presents an even more intriguing puzzle when examining isolated Greek communities, what makes their DNA profile so special? Studies of populations from remote islands and mountainous regions reveal genetic signatures virtually unchanged since antiquity. This raises a crucial question. How did geographical isolation contribute to preserving these ancient genetic lineages? What truly sets the Greek genetic story apart is its resistance to major population replacements. Despite historical invasions from Romans, Slavs, and Ottomans, the fundamental genetic structure remained remarkably intact. But here's the pivotal question. What mechanisms allowed the Greek population to maintain its genetic continuity while absorbing limited contributions from newcomers? The story becomes even more compelling when examining specific genetic markers. Recent studies have identified particular DNA sequences that can be traced directly to ancient Greek populations. What makes these findings especially significant is their implications for understanding population continuity. But how do these discoveries challenge our previous assumptions about historical population movements? What makes the Greek paternal lineages particularly fascinating is their direct connection to ancient times. The Y-chromosome haplogroup J2, present in nearly 25% of modern Greek males, tells an extraordinary story of continuity. But what makes this genetic marker so significant in understanding Greek ancestry? Consider this remarkable finding, Y chromosome haplogroup E1B1B, found in approximately 21% of contemporary Greek men, shows frequencies nearly identical to those found in ancient Greek remains. What's particularly intriguing is how these percentages have remained stable since the classical period, but what preserved such precise genetic ratios across thousands of years? The maternal genetic story, told through mitochondrial DNA, reveals even more compelling evidence. What distinguishes Greek mtDNA profiles is their remarkable similarity to those of early Aegean farmers. The genetic evidence becomes even more compelling when examining rare haplogroups. What makes these uncommon genetic markers so valuable to researchers? They serve as unique timestamps, linking modern Greeks to specific periods in their ancient past. But how do these rare genetic variants help us understand the complexity of Greek ancestry? What truly sets Greek genetic markers apart 
is their distribution pattern across social classes. Ancient DNA analysis reveals that certain haplogroups were more prevalent among different social strata in classical Greece. This raises an intriguing question. How did social structure influence genetic inheritance patterns in ancient Greek society? The story takes an even more fascinating turn when examining the genetic impact of Greek colonies. What makes colonial genetic signatures so special? Studies of Y chromosome patterns in former Greek colonies around the Mediterranean show persistent Greek genetic markers. But what does this tell us about the scale and nature of ancient Greek colonization? What makes the Greek genetic profile particularly distinct is its resilience against significant external influence. Recent population genetic studies reveal a fascinating truth. Despite centuries of coexistence with Balkan neighbors, the Greek genetic core remains remarkably unchanged. But what protected this genetic distinctiveness through generations of regional interaction? Consider this compelling statistic. Genetic admixture analysis shows that Greek populations maintain only 5-15% to genetic contribution from neighboring Balkan groups. What's particularly noteworthy is how this limited genetic exchange occurred despite extensive historical contact. But here's the crucial question. What social and cultural mechanisms maintain such strong genetic boundaries? The evidence becomes even more fascinating when examining specific genetic markers. Principal component analysis consistently places Greeks in a distinct cluster, separate from their Balkan neighbors. What makes this clustering pattern so significant is its alignment with ancient Greek DNA samples. But how did this genetic distinction persist through centuries of regional upheaval? Perhaps the most revealing aspect emerges from studying border regions. What makes these frontier zones particularly interesting is their genetic gradient patterns. While some genetic mixing occurred in these areas, the core Greek genetic signatures did not change. But what historical and social factors contributed to this genetic resilience? Despite waves of Slavic migrations into the Balkans during the medieval period, genetic studies show minimal Slavic contribution to the Greek gene pool. But what enabled the Greek population to maintain its genetic integrity during these massive demographic shifts? What makes the Byzantine era particularly significant in this context? Genetic data suggests that even during periods of intense cultural exchange, genetic boundaries remain surprisingly robust. But how did administrative and social structures influence these patterns of genetic preservation? As new research methods emerge, our understanding continues to evolve. Each study raises intriguing questions. How will future genetic analysis refine our understanding of these population boundaries? What new insights about historical population movements might we uncover? And perhaps most fascinatingly, what can this remarkable genetic stability teach us about cultural and biological identity maintenance? What makes archaeological genetics in Greece particularly remarkable is the wealth of well-preserved ancient DNA from iconic historical sites. The genetic material extracted from Mycenaean tombs and grave tells an extraordinary story of continuity. But what makes these specific samples so crucial to understanding Greek genetic heritage? Consider this fascinating discovery from the Palace of Knossos. As discussed in the beginning, DNA analysis of Minoan remains reveals genetic markers still present in modern Cretans. Again, what's particularly intriguing is how these 3,500-year-old samples provide direct evidence of biological continuity. But here's the pivotal question all over again. How did these specific genetic signatures survive so precisely in modern populations? The evidence becomes even more compelling at the site of ancient Pylos. What makes this location especially significant? Recent excavations yielded remarkably well-preserved genetic material from elite burials, including the famous Griffin Warrior Tomb. But what do these high-status individuals' genetic profiles tell us about ancient Greek social structure and continuity? Perhaps the most striking findings come from the Frankthi Cave in the Peloponnese. What distinguishes this site is its continuous human occupation from the Paleolithic to the Neolithic period. The genetic samples show a fascinating transition from hunter-gatherer to farming populations. But how did this crucial transition shape the modern Greek genetic landscape? What truly sets these archaeological discoveries apart is their geographic distribution. Consider this remarkable pattern. Genetic samples from ancient Thessaly show distinct markers that persist in modern Thessalians. 
but what preserved these regional genetic signatures through millennia of social and political changes. The story takes an even more fascinating turn at the ancient sanctuary of Delphi. What makes the genetic samples from this sacred site so special? DNA analysis reveals connections between ancient priesthood lineages and specific modern Greek populations. But how did religious and social institutions influence genetic inheritance patterns? The evidence becomes particularly compelling when examining island sites. What makes the genetic samples from ancient Thera or Santorini so unique? The preserved DNA from pre-eruption remains shows remarkable similarities to modern cycladic populations. But what protected these island genetic signatures from outside influence? What makes the genetic evidence particularly powerful in modern Greece is its profound impact on national identity and cultural discourse. Recent scientific findings confirming genetic continuity have sparked intense public interest and debate. But what makes these discoveries so emotionally resonant in contemporary Greek society? Consider this striking phenomenon. When genetic studies confirming Greek ancestral continuity are published, they frequently become trending topics in Greek media and social platforms. What's particularly fascinating is how this scientific information transforms into cultural capital. But here's the crucial question. How does genetic evidence influence modern Greeks' understanding of their heritage? Perhaps the most compelling aspect is the public's engagement with this information. What makes ordinary Greeks so invested in genetic research? Social media analytics show that posts about Greek genetic heritage generate exceptional engagement rates. But what drives this remarkable public interest in archaeological genetics? What truly distinguishes the cultural impact of these findings is their role in education and identity formation. Consider how Greek schools increasingly incorporate genetic research into history curricula. But here's the fascinating question. How does this scientific evidence shape younger generations' understanding of their cultural heritage? The story takes an even more interesting turn when examining diaspora communities. What makes genetic research particularly meaningful for Greeks living abroad? Studies show that genetic evidence of continuity strengthens diaspora Greeks' connection to their ancestral homeland. But how does this scientific validation affect their cultural identity maintenance? The evidence becomes especially powerful in addressing historical controversies. What makes genetic data so crucial in these debates? When discussing ancient Macedonian heritage or the origins of specific cultural practices, genetic evidence often provides objective support for historical Greek narratives. But how do communities balance scientific findings with traditional cultural beliefs? As genetic research continues to advance, new questions emerge about identity and heritage. How will future discoveries influence Greek cultural self-perception? What role will genetic evidence play in resolving regional historical disputes? And perhaps most intriguingly, how will this scientific understanding of ancestry shape the future of Greek cultural identity? The intersection of genetics and identity continues to evolve, making the Greek case a fascinating example of how scientific discovery influences cultural consciousness. Each new finding adds another layer to this complex narrative, demonstrating how ancient DNA can bridge past and present. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.